So the, 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 the Point Break remake, which at least the trailer had waves. The original Point Break worked well because Patrick Swayze was just this bizarre, enigmatic person who had the phenomenal way of being, and he could be a great dancer. That's your, your dirty dancing. He could be the guy who beats crap on people. That's your roadhouse. He could be your weird, crazy villain who you felt very much kind of like an association with. It's more like Point Break. And he was paired very well against Keanu Reeves. Around the time when people really cared about Keanu Reeves as an actor. And that film had a lot of these really great moments to it. And it was entirely focused around, you know, surfing was your prominent background. So the remake is essentially Triple X. Remember Triple X, the Vin Diesel one? About the extreme sports guy who was brought in by the government to take down a group of other people who did extreme sports. Now you have an extreme sports guy who's already working with the government to help take down extreme sports guys. This is not Point Break. This is not Point Break. This is Triple X 3. You might as well just continue the franchise. The moment you take everything away from the, the, the primary, you know, where a lot of it was, of course, back at that time, there wasn't as much in the way of extreme sports. There's a lot more now, so I understand that aspect of it. But the film just feels so hollow. Mad Max Fury, which I didn't get a chance to see. I was looking forward to trying to find a chance to find it, to watch this just hard with, you know, a, a kid at home. But when you watched it, even people I know who didn't watch films, that many films, were like, man, I loved Mad Max in, like, the 80s. And then you watched it, and you're like, oh, seems like freaking Mad Max. And this one seems like somebody went, so who wants a right to Point Break? We do? Awesome. Let's take a random generic film and slap Point Break on the front of it. What, what, what else happened, like, a long time? We did, we did Poltergeist this year, too. Yeah. Can I do, can I do Goonies? Should we do Goonies? We, we, we can totally do Goonies. A anything else from, like, the, the childhood of people who are, like, in their 30s, we can just, you know, be like, we'll throw in, like, some new stuff into it. And it'll be like, we did the same thing, and then we just modernized it and updated it. And removed everything from it and just slapped the name back onto it. This movie looks like crap. And not even like good crap. This is that stuff that comes out in December, near Christmas time, that nobody goes sees. That somebody thought was going to make money, but they know it's probably not going to make money. Hence having to come out freaking Christmas time. 